man should have one vice. Don't you agree? I suppose there are worse ones than smoking. Especially in our line of work. I had a colleague who spent three months in Havana to flip an asset. He came home with a new contact and an unrelenting addiction to heroin. This man saved countless lives, British and foreign, by recruiting that asset. Then he kicked his habit. He was the finest operator I've ever worked with. I go so far as to call him a friend. If men like us can have friends. His name was Jacob. He was the man you just killed. I'm sorry about your friend. <coughs> I'd like you and I to be friends. However brief, that wound does look to be a mortal one. Please. Hey, I'm doing my job, like you. We're all doing our jobs. Jacob and I are very good at our jobs. So tell me, Lusky, how was it that you recognized two experienced MI6 operators? <coughs> Did someone tell you we were coming? You've seen our faces before. I am like you. I am KGB, but I am also MI6. Who recruited you? It was your deputy chief, Blackwood. If you're Blackwood's asset, why would he want you dead? What is Blackwood hiding? He is also KGB. The deputy chief is a double agent. <laughs> Who else knows about this? Only KGB and me. There is a hospital. Three blocks from here. You might make it there before you bleed out. Why do you let me live? Your death will make no difference to this world. And I no longer take orders from MI6.